So I put my 100k YouTube plaque in my Tinder bio and the results were, well, let's just say I planned on doing it for a month, but something happened and it made me decide I needed to remove it after a week. Uh, so here's how we got here. All right, so one day I was on call with my friend Mads who just caved into loneliness, much like myself. So in response, he made a Tinder. Depression buddies. And at the time he was looking for photos to use for his account because he hadn't taken any new ones recently. You know, it's not really a good look for your bio to say you're 18, but your pictures say you drink juicy juice, you know? So as he was scrolling through his pictures or whatever, he ended up coming across his 100K subscriber plaque pic. You know that pic everyone posts on social media once they hit 100K and like, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a good YouTuber now, yeah. I did that too. And after looking at it for a second, he came up with the brilliant idea. Oi, why don't I just use this? In fact, you should just use yours on yours. What? Now, I have mixed feelings about the idea at first. See, Tinder is like boneless flirting. I'm not necessarily on here to find a girlfriend. I'm just really here to make sure people still think I'm dateable. But if some shit happens in the process, I'm not gonna be mad. But getting there because of copy trademark YouTube clout is a whole different ball game though. See, for me, generic Kroger brand clout flexing. It's like a buff in a video game. Sure, I don't have the good looks buff, but I got the money buff. So it makes up for my lack of points in the meta. But I'm not sure if YouTube is much of like a buff itself. Like, I don't know, to me it sounds worse. Like, oh, you make YouTube videos? That doesn't sound like a stable partner. And, and you'd probably be right. But when you add the 100K plaque into it, it kind of changes things. And I've noticed it, I've trust me. On social media, I got a lot of love for it. When people come over to my house, they want to see it usually more than they want to see me. So maybe it is a clout flex. But when you're flexing clout like that, I don't know, to me, what you're doing is like leading people to like you like specifically because of status. I feel like it's pretty obvious to say that's not okay. Anyway, so what I'm saying is this whole thing was probably gonna go bad. But it was just tender, so f ruined my reputation some more, yeah. So Matt was doing his own thing, but for me, this was gonna be an experiment. So the idea was that for at least a month, I was gonna put my 100K plaque in my Tinder bio, along with the job of <sighs> content creator, which again, I feel is like a little too much. Uh, but fuck it, we're going full ass. Now I had four hypotheses, hypothesis. A, I thought that my matches were gonna go up astronomically and I was gonna be way more popular on there. B, I thought more people would message me first, which would be fantastic, please do that, please. And C, I'd get girls who I'd consider out of my league. Again, please. Anyway, I'd go through Tinder daily like I usually would at the same rate as I did regularly and swipe on girls that I was interested in. Okay, so day two to five was about the time to test if my matches had gone up. And after looking at the data, my matches indeed had. Like typically I received like six or seven matches a day, but now I was receiving nine or 10. Now the number didn't go up astronomically like I predicted, but it was definitely worth noting that Cloud probably played a role in the increase. And then on the next hypothesis, some girls that I matched with were definitely in the out of my league area. Oh boy. But like it was just enough for me to tell something was happening or maybe like just enough for a placebo to take effect. But regardless, I felt the clout. Like in fact, I matched with this one girl who obviously I won't show, but I guarantee you these pixels are a 10. I showed this girl to my roommate's girlfriend because you know girls know how girls look better than guys. And she dead ass thought she was a catfish. <laughs> and not in the sense that, yo, these pictures are fake. No, they look completely real. Like in a sense that, yo, why'd she match with you though? This doesn't add up. <laughs> like that, why, how, how is this? <laughs> F you by the way. Uh, you're probably right, but f you. Anyways, I DM people on there and the conversations were usually pretty tame. I mean, a few of the girls explicitly asked about YouTube and me helping them with their YouTube. It's like, mm. it definitely felt like I was definitely the only reason we were talking in a couple instances, but it wasn't, it couldn't be a huge deal. So, so far the experiment was not as successful as I thought, but just enough to make me consider having this in my bio for the rest of my life, just to be safe. I mean, no lie, it felt pretty good to be in the thick of it all. But let me tell you, that was, pretty temporary. And during the course of the experiment, I went to this party not too far from my house and a decent amount of people were there that I typically run into. So I was chilling in the basement in the corner as per usual. And then all of a sudden, a girl walks up to me. More specifically, a girl I'd matched with on Tinder. So I expected the conversation to, you know, like be normal. Like, hey, isn't it crazy how we matched on Tinder, but aren't gonna do anything? Oh yeah, that's wild. But it was more along the lines of, YouTube, YouTube, you do YouTube, 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 YouTube. I'm gonna make a YouTube channel. What should I do? YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. 
YouTube. Hi. Okay, now don't get me wrong. She's a great girl, okay? She's cool, she's fun. I'm definitely not just saying this because she might watch this video, but all right, but that kind of made me feel weird, okay? And it wasn't her fault or anything. I definitely put it out there, and if it's the most interesting aspect about a person, I get it. Like, if there's just like a stone chilling out, but one part of it is covered in like shit, like, I, I wasn't gonna talk about the stone either, but this this is one trait that's worth mentioning now. And then when you realize that the only reason someone is talking to you is because of the clout, it, it feels kind of weird. Like, through Tinder, it was a little different because, you know, there's, like, the distance. Like, oh, maybe she's just flirting, haha. But you get the full impact of, uh, no, I don't really care about you when you're talking in person. Not saying she was like that. But more like, like, honestly, I doubt we'd be having this conversation if I didn't put that in my bio. Which, yes, was the point of the experiment and the clout buff earlier. But it really just felt superficial to me. So superficial, in fact, that I ended up taking it out of my profile early. Like three weeks early. <laughs> Even though it was just Tinder, like I said earlier. Going on, I'm pretty chill with the concept of cloud. It's cool and I understand the whole thing, but it really isn't for me. Like, I couldn't handle it like that. Maybe I'm too self-aware. But knowing that big of a boon was boosting me up just wasn't up my alley when it's like the only thing that made me good to someone else. I mean, Mad still has it in his bio, so everybody's different. Oh, what's up, y'all? Thank you guys for watching that video. Um, I made it really quick, and I'm really tired, but I wanted to try putting something out like really fast. Uh, shout out to Jordan for dealing with me, recording literally all day. Check out this gorgeous setup we got going here. That's really about it. If you enjoyed that video, um, make sure you check out the last video I put out, How TV Made Me Need Medication. It's a bit of a yikes. Um, but that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.